So when you read the Bible, and you're reading about what God says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Or Jesus says that. Well, Jesus supposedly is God, right? So, either either. So, what the Bible is telling you is this. The Bible is telling you that there is this energy outside and the energy itself we're going to refer to, refer to it as God, okay? This unseen energy, this unseen creator, this unseen thing, this power, the great power, the force, the mightiest power ever exists. It is. It is. Okay? When I say it is, I say it is because it exists. Now, going through time, people people recognize, people from different geographical areas, recognize this power, but only some people can see it because only some people are enlightened. Only some people can actually visualize something that makes sense, which could be the power. But it doesn't matter who it is or what it is. The power is the power. It's your one power. But based on the level of enlightenment that individual has, they may interpret the power in a different manner. But the power is the power. It's one power. Okay. So, that's A, to be continued. Now B. Out of this power, out of this power, how can we tell people that the power itself is within you? The power itself is you. We have to manifest that power into flesh. And therefore, we use that flesh, which is someone who is so enlightened, they, they, they understand how things work before their time. So when they talk about certain things, it's going to come to pass, eventually. So therefore, you're classified like as a prophet. Now, everyone has a different name to the person that they send, right? So, whether it's Jesus, whether it's Horus, whether it's um, Socrates, whether it's whoever it is, they're going to have a different name because they're from different geographical areas. So, Peter, for me, is English. Pedro is Spanish, but it's the same name. Okay. We are now in a position where we need to understand that the power itself is us. We're in a position where we need to understand when God says, I am I am, I am, I am, I am. The reason you can say that to yourself is because when you feel it to know that you are God is based on the level of enlightenment that you attain.
So, how do you explain to someone that you don't believe in Jesus Christ or you don't believe in in whatever messengers they have out there? Well, here's the thing. The power itself shows us. The power itself reveals to us everything around us. And the only way, the only way that everything around us can be manifested or to be referred to us as the children of this power, of the existence, of the visual existence of this power, like the trees and blah, 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 is to actually make the conscious person be aware that the power is still around. So you find things that are natural, like earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, The power still exists. But the power itself does not know good from evil. We determine good from evil. We create havoc and we create love. Infinite intelligence is the collective of our minds put together. And depending on the vibration that goes into infinite intelligence, a.k.a. the power, then the vibration that it sends off is going to be our heaven, or our demise. We are God. I am God. You are God. The baby is God. Everything that is a part of this power that is conscious is God. But more importantly, in order for this power to keep bringing forth more conscious people who you can refer to as messengers is to protect the female because ultimately the female is the bearer of all gods so By disrespecting females, by sending them down the road of stress, by not eating right, all this can destroy every living egg that's inside a female, and therefore we keep going with more stressful God coming out to send bad vibration into the ether. My friend, you are God. I am God. The children are God. And more importantly, the woman is God. <laughs>